Hello, and welcome to my capstone symposium presentation. My name is Vanessa Stokel, and the title of my capstone is Swimming Upstream, the Challenges of Science Communication in Salmon Habitat Restoration. For my capstone, I worked with the Coast Salmon Partnership within their communications team to better understand science communication, specifically through the use of digital media. Um, by this, I mean videos or images that are shared on social media platforms. To understand the work that the Coast Salmon Partnership does, I learned extensive research about how salmon species are deeply impacted by human created barriers, which can be seen in figure one below. Um, like pipes or dams that prevent the salmon from traveling upstream to reach cooler waters, their ability to spawn, and their ability to access food. So communicating this restoration work is difficult since the projects are often complex, and to make the work visually appealing to an audience is challenging since the work isn't the most glamorous. So most of my work centered around understanding the best methods of communicating information about the restoration projects throughout the Washington Coast region. My primary methods for research were to conduct a literature review based on the most current research regarding science communication through digital media. I interviewed project managers, conducted an independent survey, organized a photo database for a specific project site, and produced a video to showcase the work being done at a site. My primary research questions were, how does using visual media and science work to effectively communicate the benefits or progress with salmon habitat restoration? And what are the key components of science communication that make it the most effective? Looking at my results section through my literature review, I discovered strong relationships between the use of emotions, for example, hope and fear and behavioral decisions. If people are able to feel connected to the work being shown, they are more likely to take action. Also through the literature review, I learned about the importance of making the digital media visually appealing since it is often the first thing people see or notice. Throughout my interviews, I recognized that to inform the public on the work being done, using simple wording and avoiding jargon is crucial to effective communication. Additionally, through my own research, respondents were strongly motivated by visually appealing images or videos as well as an easy to follow timeline. Uh, from my own research, as seen in figure two, I conducted a survey with an example video and asked respondents to report which aspects of the video that they found the most appealing. The majority of respondents felt that the images used and the background music included were the most appealing elements of the example video, which further, was, which further solidified my findings throughout the literature review. I also feel it's important to point out for this research, I received 40 responses. Um, but for this question, respondents were allowed to choose multiple answers, which is why the results add up to over 40. So looking over at the significance section, communicating the importance of habitat restoration is crucial for protecting and preserving the pristine habitats. Figure three below shows an example from a project site where wooden posts have been placed in strategic ways to slow water down and trap sediment in that specific area to better support and protect salmon habitats. If people are more aware of the work being done by the Coast Salmon Partnership in regions of the Washington coast, then their behaviors might be influenced to get involved. Additionally, considering the increasingly digital world we live in, knowing how to effectively communicate scientific research is important as more people continue to get involved. Looking at the next steps for communication efforts, it is important to continue implementing effective ways of communication, such as avoiding jargon and creating a clear storyline during outreach programs that the Coast Salmon Partnership does to bring awareness to habitat restoration issues. Understanding which emotions to use to connect with your audience is key, so the larger message can be appropriately translated through the digital media and keeping up with new findings on the effective methods of science communication through digital media is important to understand new developments in this area of research. Thank you so much for joining me. I would like to thank my site supervisor, Mara Zimmerman, my faculty advisor, John Meyer, my capstone peers for their constant encouragement and my family for their continued support. Thank you so much.